Well, guys, here we go again. I'm excited to be back where I'm always excited to come back and I get to meet and be with my girls, my crew, as we are all about women power, women empowerment. So guess who's always up next and got something always great to give us the 411. We have De Ruth Danessa spilling the tea with us. What we got, Ruth? To me, uh, choosing the stories because it's just so much going on. Okay. So I'm going to keep it short in some of them. We have a report of super lice in 25 states. Super what? Lice. In the hair. Lice in the hair? Mm, yes. Buggy bugs? Yes, that are the not. The cooties that yeah. we used to call those the cooties in my day. Oh. That are not, you know, they're not responding to the normal treatment. So, and, you know, we, we see this all the time where people are antibiotic and then you get the super bugs and stuff like that. And it's our own doing. But, I mean, what do you do not fight the lice? And you, we, don't, we don't hear about lice the way we used to, right? Like, it doesn't seem to you know happen why? as often. I think because now we put perms and stuff like that in our hair, and that chemical will eat the lice. Because, no joke, when I was come up, lice was always in Caucasian's hair because they didn't iron or press their hair. We used to hot comb our hair. So Kill if you it. had lice, it would burn them right out. You know, we were always, it's like if you end up getting lice, you get the straightening comb and you press the hair and really? it fries, yeah, it fries them. And also, we also will put perms in our hair and you per you know, perms burn us. Uh -huh. So it will eat any bug or anything like that Do that was in that it. Do you think that contributed to the super lice? Mm -hmm. It might have. I know it kills them, but shoot, we got super roaches and super rats now that the <laughs> stuff that doesn't work. So what's going on with that lice? Ooh, well, we call them back in the day cooties. 25 states, so that's half the country, and you know they're going to oh. spread to the whole country. And it's what's happening is that it, they're not, so not, not their salons that are popping up with special technique. Oh. And they say that the, is a nitpicking? That when that's you put, what they call it. That's the best, still the best strategy. And nitpicking is this fine tooth comb really fine tooth the teeth really and you just comb it and you see all the cooties oh come into God, it really? oh and just what do you do with it, it? Yeah. you just go ball just cut yeah you take hair. it you take alcohol and you wipe it off and you keep doing it until it's all gone when salons end up with it they have to close the shop down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nobody can get and they got to disinfect the whole place because I used to think about the cooties when I go to the movies. You know how the back of the um, the chair in the movie theater, mm -hmm. and you sit and you lay back? Mm -hmm. I always felt like if someone who had lice, it would get my hair, especially when my hair used to be very, very long where I could sit on it. And it's like, how would I, you know, the only way to get rid of it, because I had long locks, the only way that I would be able to get rid of that lice is to shave my head because of all the hair that I had. Well, what do they look like? like they look little like... Little spiders. Don't mm -hmm. look under a microscope at them. They're, they're disgusting. really, really they're disgusting. They're little wow. white, they're the, they look like um, little white millie bugs. You know millie, those little white bugs that get on plants, it's white and webby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like in your head. And some people think it's dandruff and it's not, and it's the cooties. Well, that's the white is the nits, that's their egg sac. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it deposits itself about an inch from the scalp. And from what I've heard is it's the texture of the hair. So if you're, it, the reason it's more of a Caucasian problem is the texture, and they can a adhere better to the hair shaft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those nits, those are their eggs. Well, you figure we're African American. Our hair is a little coarse and kind of. My um, girlfriend's child never got it, and she's the one who told me that it's because his hair was a different texture. And mm -hmm. she said, "I don't lice. I get the notice. I don't worry about it. He mm -hmm. never gets it." We two years ago we had it twice in my house. Both my kids, I got it, and we went to a service because I couldn't do my own hair. It's very thick, and she did what you're saying with the comb and. But they're, they're also, they're pulling out those little nits, the eggs, not just the bugs. Because you could have one lice in your hair, and they lay all these eggs, and then Ooh, multiply. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You're infested. Wow. And it's itchy? Oh. It's, it, yes. And I have an itchy scalp as it is, so you'd think you have it. And, and you're paranoid. Every yeah. time you get it, like, you're in now there. I'm par now I'm paranoid. We got it. Two, we got hit twice in one year, and it was... So how did you realize that you had it? How did the you nurse. So the school nurse, I guess, did a screening of the kids. Oh. Um, and she luckily didn't have a problem with doing that. The uh -huh. new nurse won't check them, uh -huh. so every once in a while. Plus my son, I make sure his hair is really short. But how did you get it? From my kids, cuddling my kids or whatever, if it's on the couch. They I mean, jump. 
Mm. Yeah, I was sitting to, uh, next to a homeless person in the, um, when I was going back and forth for cancer, you know, for my chemo treatment. And he so happened to just fall on me and asleep. Mm -hmm. And he looked like he had white dandruff on his shoulder. And I just nicely tapped him and let him. He said, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry, but I freaked. I didn't have any hair because chemo took out all my hair. But I was afraid of it jumping on my clothes and me bringing it home. So I was like, wow. I was afraid. And when I was coming up, it used to be, you know, nah, 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 you got the cooties, you got the cooties, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. in my day, they weren't. They just didn't call them like they said cooties. Mm -hmm. So how are they saying how Super they handle it? Super terrifying. <laughs> Super they, they, They're recommending that, uh, well, p telling the kids not to hug each other and to stay away from each other, basically, even if there is an outbreak in your school, but just to be aware and to teach the kids. But, I mean, you don't want to put fear in the kids. Now you don't want to play with your friends. I mean, how yeah. do you? And nitpicking, they said, is still the best. It's going to take a lot longer now. because And nitpicking is combing, right? right, right. Just combing. That's, that's what they're recommending. Why didn't they suggest shaving the hair bald? Oh, for kids, come on now, Nisa. Who want to shave their hair, boy? And all the boys. Kids, man, come why? on. That's come why on, little wigs. girls. That's there's, why there's wigs. So you think if if, if it happened to you, you're going to cut off all your hair? Mm -hmm. Well, how dreads. would you tell that to a five-year-old? No, nah, I don't think so. Nah, My mommy so. will do it, too. We'll be well, both together. Well, and then you don't think they'll be targeted. Ignore it. People ignore it, like Nisa. That. Don't ignore it. I'm serious. No, That's the, like, be the best and quickest way to get rid of it. Instead of going hours, maybe days. Of combing out nits and lice. It's still, they'll still attach to you. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that long for it to attach. So then are you going to be bald your whole life? Are you, you going to keep, keep your hair yeah, sh keep head shape? Because okay. then you got you to gotta wash the, the sheets and the stuff. Yeah. And yeah. It's There's like all, ringworm, you know? It's not. Or like uh, bed bugs. Bed bugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bed bugs. That's more frightening, actually. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of an epidemic, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah there. Uh, and you don't like, have to be dirty to get bed bugs. They have the high class hotels, the, you know, the five star hotels, oh, yeah. and and you hear about. Yeah, them I know. I'm paranoid because when we go on <laughs> vacation, I'm always looking in. You don't put anything like your suitcase on the floor. You got to have it up. It's 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 paranoid, paranoid. And none of this stuff is about hygiene. I think it's mm, just it has nothing right. to do with that. But that's the stigma with lice. Uh -huh. Is oh. She's dirty. Yeah. It doesn't right. have anything to do that's with that. That's just like with roaches. You could be clean and still yeah, have roaches. You bring that home from a supermarket. Sure. Oh, God. No, we'll be right back. Rated M and...